And we're back on the deck of the Normandy. Uh, that's not what I wanted to check. I've done a little bit of... A little bit more inventory management behind the scenes, as I tend to do once I've finished a recording session. Uh, I've gone through, I've updated a lot of the crew stuff. I'm not necessarily focused on mods, so there'll be mods and things as and when we take crew members out. Uh, we, we've got 7.7 .7 million credits. Mm, 24. There's another six levels. <laughs> so that's good. Money is suddenly not a not an object. I'm pretty sure we were doing. We need to go back to the citadel. Um, so that the, we're going to end up there, but we did say X57. Although I'm sure in one of the videos I called it X58 by mistake and didn't realise. We're going to X57. Then we're going to do Novaria. Hopefully by then we'll be jumped up to level 28 and I can buy the Spectre 10 weapons from our good buddy, the Turian CSEC Requisitions Officer. Who I think is growing. I think I'm growing on him. They're, uh, they're not fans of mine, the Turians, but when we put Seren down, eventually... I'm sure everybody in the galaxy will love us, right? We'll be big damn heroes. So let's crack on. Let's do the... We need to go to Asgard. I'd like to visit Asgard, if it's a real place. Um, let's check this other system. I don't think I've been in this system yet. So let's check this other one. And just see if there's anything around. We've got... Woof, that was loud. We've got all of our... Um, sort of area looting. You know, the, the, the minerals and, and things. Oh, it's Eden Prime. Of course, we've been there. That's where this journey started. Um, right. X57 was one of the first DLCs I ever bought. I think it was actually the first DLC I bought digitally. It was the first DLC for Mass Effect. It's the only one that they've been able to restore to this game. All the systems are... Oh, the planets, sorry, are named after certain Asgardian Nordic gods. So, Loki, Tyr. We've got X-57, Terra Nova, and Boar. Terra Nova, I'm pretty sure, has dinosaurs on it. But there's nothing to, nothing to do here. Terra Nova was a Class 1 colonization um, prospects discovered where... Yeah, okay. It's Earth Point 2. Nothing in the sun. One day there will be. We're going to find out what is going on with Asteroid X-57. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. Knowing what's coming... As much as I want to take the Dream Team, knowing what's coming, I want to see... I don't think I've ever taken Ash on this. So I want to see what her reaction is. Took Caden on the the lost edits that you will never see because I've deleted them for the, the wrong playthrough, the, the multiverse playthrough in another galaxy. I took Caden. Um, I've never taken Ash, so we're going to take Ash. And Garrus has to come. Garrus is my main man. Yeah. Yeah. I'm liking that. What a beautiful planet. Status. Sensors reveal three fusion torches propelling asteroid X-57. At its current rate of acceleration, the asteroid will collide with Terra Nova in approximately four hours. Analysis. Torches must be disabled to cease the acceleration. Hello. I heard your transmission. Can you hear me? They haven't found me yet, but I can't talk long. Shut down the fusion torches. I'm going to die. That's a ballsy God, move. I hope you're hearing this. To 
drop in in the Mako on a moving asteroid going up. Joker will have worked out the trajectory. Right. As you heard, three fusion torches. We've got a transmission tower there. We need to take out these torches. But there's a question mark. We have four hours to do this. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I can do a bit of exploring. <laughs> I actually Pick there's out. one of one of these torches I detest I find it so hard oh, I'm not going to give you that I'm not going to give you that either you've got one of these oh he's on crossfire 8 I should have that that's good enough what I wanted to check was his armor. He has nothing. He's on crap armor as well. It looks really nice. I love the green camo with the... I suppose is it like a brushed silver? I like that style. It looks, it looks good on him. Mobile accuracy. He's a sniper. It makes sense to me. Actually, what's Ash got? Oh, she's fine. She's fine. Body of G. Mandel. The victim was badly beaten before being killed with a pistol shot at the back of the head at close range. It's likely he surrendered, only to be executed by his sadistic captors. This is... In our journey, in this narrative that we're, I'm presenting to you, the viewer, this is the turning point. Shepherds had pushback from the council. We ran into slavers. We've run into criminal gangs. We've run into the person who instigated the Elysian invasion where Shepherd won the Star of Terror. I think it's the Star of Terror. Um, and he was became the biggest hero in all the Alliance. This is the turning point this is where, as you've just seen, it starts to get dark. Survey Station 3, final entry, logged by Engineer G. Mandel. The central transmission tower is on the fritz again. No one ever listens to my warnings about single points of failure. I'm surprised our surface comms work half as well as they do. When Sludge shows up to relieve me, I'll go and see if I can get the old girl back up and running. main facility so now we have a main facility he was heading to the transmission tower it's on the fritz again we can't do anything for him now why are you using a pistol Logic arrest is a new one on me. I can't believe you're still on blue wire. God, I've failed you. I'm so sorry, Garrus. Theoretically, they don't know that we're here. There's turrets by that fusion torch. I don't think the Mako has stealth systems like the Normandy, so they're going to find out that we're here pretty quickly. But this is a very dark entry. Into the trilogy. It's a brilliant DLC. We boost up there. 
just. I am slightly worried about those turrets. Not overly. But I am slightly worried by those turrets. Let's repair the old girl. As it was fondly called by Mendel. The link between transmission tower and several survey stations has been restored. Survey station locations are now shown on your map. That's where we went. I guess we hit these survey stations to try and find out what's going on. And while we're going there, let's take out Torch 1. That's a lot of turrets. Four. Five turrets that I can see. Six turrets. We're headed in the right direction. I don't know who you are, but I'm... Damn it. See if I can. I don't want to take all of them on at one one go. I want to see if I can pop them open and take them out one at a time. No, oh, no, they've all opened. Right. Okay. We're just gonna have to hit them hard. can disable even one torch that's going to start right. to slow the uh, the rocks trajectory I guess what have we got on um synthetic I want organic all right let's go see what's going on no guns out I've just told you guns out that's never a good start is it Batarians. Batarians. I was like I knew that was coming. Attack! Check! Check! Attack! Uh, I don't think so. not gonna pop out. Oh, that's not good. Have a lift. The melee is too slow. Let's push in. Can I, can I wing him? That worked. Maybe grenades are great. It's moving a little slow. A little sluggish, the pistol reaction. I think that's my setup. Oh, it's just my... My right hand isn't working properly again. It's probably more what it is. Right, okay, loot. Lots of things on here, but nothing I can loot. I like this place. I, 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 ooh. Grenade box. We should also, while we should get quite a few levels doing this, we should also get a decent amount of gear to sell. And I'm going to max out money soon, so I need some stuff to buy. Let's hope we can start to hit level 10 
We need to drop this torch. I suppose the other good thing, there's nothing down there, is it? The other good thing about taking Garrus and Ash, they're both trained in, in these kind of things. So while Shepard... Oh. Oh. I do like the Colossus. I think it's Colossus. Um, Garrus. It's not really worth it. It looks okay, though. It's not... Let's give him extra shields just to make up for it. Um, biotic protection's very rubbish. Let's get this disabled. Torch one down. I'm reading that the torch is offline. Was that you? Can you hear me? I hear you. What's going on? Who are you? My name's Kate Bowman. I'm an engineer. I was part of the team assigned to bring this asteroid to Terra Nova. We were attacked yesterday by Batarian extremists. I'd been hiding since they arrived. I think they know the torch went out. Why are they doing this? I don't know, but if this asteroid isn't slowed, millions of people on Terra Nova are going to die. If I find out anything, I'll... I've gotta go. Good luck. Get out of there, Kate. I'm going to need information from the inside. So I always play this as Batarians being a large, like Mindwa was the big one. And when I've played Shepard as a, a survivor of Mindwa, this has, has been much more. But the, the Skillion Blitz and the, the Elysium attack that Shepard fended off virtually by himself. Which is why I play him with this playthrough as biotics and uh, electronics. So the Sentinel build means that he's got biotics to throw people around and push people away and lift people up. He's also got electronics to do all that stuff, but he can also set traps and things. He knows, he's learned how to sort of home alone his way through uh, an entire army. He's, to put it simply, in my head, that's how this Shepard is. But Batarians were a huge part of that invasion. So he has... He, he doesn't hate races. But he has an exceptional dislike for Batarians. Hey. Oh god. I didn't mean to... Are you hurt? It takes more than that one shot to bring me down. Sorry. I didn't even realize you were human until... Well... Guess I'm not much of a soldier. I know you're scared, but I'm here to help. Commander Shepard, with the Alliance. Simon. Simon Atwell. I'm the chief engineer on this rock. Listen, we don't have much time. The Batarians fired up the fusion torches. You've got to shut them down before we hit Terra Nova. There are four million people down there, Shepard. I... My family. They live in Aronis. My kids and grandkids. Nice communities. Good schools. I don't have time to do the math in my head. What happens if we don't stop this rock? X-57 is 22 kilometers long, twice the size of the asteroid that wiped out the Earth's dinosaurs. It would be like millions of fusion bombs striking at once. Millions. The heat Jesus. of the blast. A thousand kilometers away, clothes will ignite. There'll be global wildfires. Air shock will flatten everything for hundreds of kilometers. Terra Nova will die, Shepard. Not just our colony. The planet. There'll be a climate shift, mass extinctions. The ecosystem won't recover for thousands of years. Millions, maybe. Jesus. The amount of, like, scientific stuff that has gone into that one dialogue is insane. Is there any chance it'll land in the oceans? That would be even worse. Tsunamis would sweep inland at hundreds of kilometers per hour. Millions of tons of water would be vaporized at the point of impact. Global cloud coverage. The plants could all die, and if they go, the whole ecosystem rolls over. I'd have to run the numbers, but take my word for it. It'd be bad. This doesn't make any sense. Batarians run criminal gangs. Unethical, but profitable. They don't destroy worlds. What does this gain them? I've heard all the stories. Slave rings ranching people like animals. Pirate bands burning colonies to the ground. But this is... The Citadel Conventions forbid asteroid drops. I never thought the Batarians would go this far. 
You were on the ground when this happened. How many Batarians have you seen, and where? They landed at the main facility. It's locked down now. They've changed the passcodes, no idea what's going on inside. I did see groups head out to each of the torch stations. Couldn't say how many, though. Enough to give you a fight. Sounds like my kind of night out. Any idea who's behind this? Who's leading them? That might provide a clue. I heard a couple of them talking. They mentioned a Balak. It sounded like he's the one in charge. They didn't seem convinced this was a good idea, but they were scared of the guy. Scared enough to do what he wanted. The conventions only apply to council-aligned races. The Batarian government is a rogue state. The Batarians aren't stupid. If they made a policy of this, the council would declare war on them. My opinion? These guys aren't backed by their government. They've got to be working on their own. If the Batarians can't keep their own crazies in line, we'll do it for them. I just don't want the Terra Firma party using a threat to my home as an excuse to invade somebody else's. That's fair. Batarians everywhere, and I need to shut down all three torches. Anything else I should know? One of the torches is surrounded by live blasting caps. We were set That's up to the one I hate. when we arrived at Terra Nova. I rigged them with proximity detectors. That tank of yours will set them off, so you'll have to go in on foot. Even then, they'll explode if you get too close. Just go slow and easy. You should be fine. You set them up. Can you disable them? Not from here. No. There are manual controls by the entrance to the torch facility inside the blast zone. You can disarm the caps there. One last thing. I had a crew working off-site when the attack hit. I'm worried about them. These Batarians are ruthless. I saw them smash the faceplates of guys working vacuum. And those Varen. I don't think they always wait for a corpse before feeding. I came across a member of your crew. He didn't make it. I... I see. Well... Maybe the other two are still out there. You never know. There were a bunch of engineers over at the main facility, but they're probably all dead. That or being held hostage by the Batarians. A woman named Kate Bowman contacted me. The Batarians haven't found her yet. Katie's alive. She's one of my best engineers. She signed on with her brother, Aaron, I, I think his name is. He's part of the security detail. I hope they're okay. Why were you moving this thing in the first place? Well, the idea was to, to drag that. it into Terra Nova's orbit, mine it out, and in the end you'd have a basic structure for an orbital station. It's a lot cheaper than getting everything up into orbit from the planet's surface. The minerals we extract almost cover the costs. That's a cool idea, actually. I like that. Give me a worst case scenario. We can't stop the asteroid. Could the colony be evacuated? Evac? Shepard, it took 30 years for the population to grow that large. I'm sure they're moving people to remote areas, but they'd never be able to get more than a few thousand off world. We just don't have enough ships. Damn. No one does. Well, maybe the Quarians, but I don't see them suddenly showing up and offering us a ride. What can you tell me about Kate? Smart as a whip and bold as they come. I hope she keeps hidden. If they find her... Oh, Katie. Don't do anything stupid. Well, you'd better find a good place to hide. If the Batarians come back and find you... Yeah. I think I'll make myself scarce. Good luck, Shepard. We got renegade points from all of that. No, we're, we're getting pretty close to next level. Um, okay, fine. Are we set up for the next yet? Yeah, we're gonna do There's a there's an anomaly. We'll ping that on the way back. They're all fairly these torches are all fairly well lumped together, so we're gonna do a little bit of exploration. We might be able to find something or thin out some numbers or Well anything really. This whole setup reminds me of uh, uh, the Expanse Season 5 I won't go into it if you haven't seen it but I mean if if you've been watching this this playthrough and you enjoy Mass Effect and you enjoy sci-fi in general and you haven't watched The Expanse go watch The Expanse it's an incredible series um, it's not my favourite sci-fi series but it's about as close to reality as you're going to get in a sci-fi show it's really like absolutely science based and it's a fantastic show 
and it just gets better and better with every season. Um, well, six maybe, maybe six is a bit of a, a bit of a letdown. But season five is some of the best TV I've ever seen. That's going to be good for Ash. Um, but this this reminds me of elements of the Expanse story. Body of Sea Himes, I guess. Body of severe burns and shows signs of major concussive trauma. Mercifully, the explosion would have killed her instantaneously. This is Dr. Himes. They found me, Dad. And Batarians. I can hear them out there prowling around, trying to find a way in. It sounds like they're attaching something to the door. If I don't make it, tell my family I love them. <laughs> so grim. I guess this is what happens. You see how much better that is? Oh, you had Predator M as well. Okay. Nice. I like how heavy armor looks in this game. We did find an anomaly, didn't we? Nothing we can do with that. The anomaly... I think that's the blasting caps. I guess we're doing that one next. It is the closest, so it makes sense. If we're meticulously working our way through... Um, surgical strike wise let's ping this anomaly though okay you can get up there this boost is just it doesn't grip that's the problem with this vehicle it's it's very bouncy, but the boost, when you hit the boost, you get less grip. I think it's a tuning issue. I'll have to have a word with Gareth, see if we can do anything about it. And yes, we've got turrets and the blasting cap area. If they... If they were blasting out that entire area, that's going to take out the fusion torch as well. That's not very smart, is it? This computer is filled with operation logs and personal journals for a small, private, uh, small pirate music station operated by X-57's engineers. It includes scripts of several promotional messages, none of which appear to have been recorded. Radio X-57, rocking, the, rocking this rock since 2182. Radio X-57, when your world seems hollow, we'll help you touch the sky. Radio X-57, talk hard. <laughs> Radio X-57, your last best hope for rock within 300,000 kilometers. That's not rock, that's elevator music. But you know what, it might throw them off my tail. That's not rock. So my next play we're going to hit this fusion. We'll hit that fusion. We'll hit survey two, and then we'll move over to the main facility and end this. Prepare me. I'm getting all kinds of interference. Damn. Sorry. There's a lot of feedback. Let's see if I can fix it. Sorry. In the meantime, just keep doing what you're doing. By design. Okay, I need these turrets to pop open so I can just take them out. Yeah. Then we drive back. That. We took a hit there. That's okay. We've got good shields. Oh, hello. Come on. 
Is that all of them? Warning. Ground penetrating radar detects anti-vehicle demolitions nearby. Proceed on foot. Can't even destroy them. We've got to deactivate them. All right, okay. Am I going in on foot? 